Are audiophiles narcissists? I peg your pardon. <laughs> Ian in Hertfordshire, UK, the United Kingdom, writes us. And he says, hey, Paul, it seems that in pursuit of audiophile nirvana, many of us have had to be very focused to get what we want. Yes. Especially as most of us are not billionaires. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe making sacrifices to other areas of our lives to achieve our goals. What I've noticed is that other hi-fi nuts that I know, myself included, become very self-centered and a touch narcissistic. Does this make us bad people or just passionate about our hobby? Sometimes we joke about needing to rob a bank to fund our hobby, but in some cases I think I've seen a worrying look in their eyes like, just for a second, they actually considered robbing a bank. Well, uh, a narcissist is someone who is in love with themselves, And we probably all know people like that. Uh, just pick up, the, pick up the newspaper and <laughs> there's a couple of great examples going on right now. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I would classify audiophiles as being narcissists. And I'll tell you why. Y yes, we are self-centered as anyone passionate in a hobby tends to be, right? I mean, are we a little crazy? Well, you know, I don't even know what crazy means, but yeah, I mean, do we spend more money than most on, on high performance audio equipment? Yeah, I mean, geez. I don't know if you can see this in the picture. This little sprout is sitting right here. That's $600, right? Now, from an audiophile standpoint, a $600 all-in-one integrated amplifier as cool as sprout, well, that's a bargain. But to the local guy across the street at the lumber yard who is listening on, you know, on his iPhone with a pair of buds, that's extravagant. It doesn't even have speakers, right? So that's expensive. And that's the cheapest thing we make. So, yeah, um, you know, any kind of hobby where um, people focus attention on reaching a certain level of, 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 of excellence or a certain level of skill or, you know, anything. I mean, whenever that happens, Others looking into it are going to shake their head and go, I, I, I don't get it. Like I'm into cooking, right? If you open up my, my cupboards my, where I keep the, the uh, pots and pans, I've got some two and three hundred dollar pans in there that I absolutely adore. Now, two hundred dollars for a damn pan, and I've got a set of them, so maybe I've got six hundred dollars in pans. Um, does that make me a narcissist? Nah, I don't think so. It makes me a whack job <laughs> because for $600, a lot of people could not fit their entire kitchen with plates and silverware and, you know, cookery and, and knives. I mean, just go down to Walmart or, or Costco and, and for 600 bucks, let me tell you, you can get a hell of a lot more in a couple of pans. But if you're into cooking like I am and you want to make like, ugh, Papa's, we call it Papa's Lemon uh, Pasta. Oh, can I diverge just a sec? I know this is verboten and people kind of hate this, but I make a dish that, I'm, that a, a, a good friend of mine, a musician, Scott Liddy, he used to call him Squid, and, and Squid taught me this. He said, this is an, a wonderful Italian dish that you have to be gentle if it were a woman. Just treat it gently, slowly, and kindly, and, and it'll turn out great. And, and it's really simple. You take any kind of pasta and yeah, boil it up, right? Meanwhile, you're making a sauce, so you put your favorite kind of fat in there. Could be olive oil, could be butter. I like a combination of olive oil and butter. And I take um, tomatoes, like, especially like cherry tomatoes, skin them, cut them in half, and uh, set them aside. I take some shallots and some um, garlic, 
chop it up, set it aside, and I get the, 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 the butter and the olive oil just gently at the lowest flame possible in this beautiful pan. And the reason the pan is beautiful is because it's even heat. That, that it's, it's just, you know, your fire is like a little ring, right? And you got this big pan sitting on there. So a cheap pan, you get this hot spot right in the middle. And, and this is really hot, and over here is really not. So one of the reasons you buy the kind of pans that I buy is because the heat is absolutely even. And again, it's critical in this uh, dish that you get slow, even heating. And we gently cook the shallots, which are like onions and garlic, and just sort of sweat them out and get their flavors infused in there till we smell it. Oh, oh! And then I take a lemon and I zest it with a, a grater. And I put the zest of the lemon, which is the, you know, the oils and the outer yellow part in there, which gives it a nice little bit of flavor. Squeeze a little bit of lemon, a little bit of salt right to taste. I put the tomatoes in. I gently cook them. Uh, a little bit of a couple of red pepper flakes. Um, and then, then the pasta goes in. Toss it. Put a few more tomatoes that are fresh in there. If you have any kind of preserved lemon, chop that up a little bit. Put that in there. Oh, it is spectacular, just wonderful. But it's because of this pan. I couldn't do it on just a, you know, a Walmart pan. Couldn't do it. So, yeah, I mean, one could say, you know, I'm investing in myself because my family and I love good cooking. As well, we love good high-end audio reproduction. So spending a bit of money, going a little bit overboard on that, no, nah, I don't think you're a narcissist. I think you are just someone who is passionate enough to invest some of your hard-earned money into making your passion something that is really a gift to you, the world, and your family. And it's the people who don't have passion that I mourn for. I'm sorry. If you don't have passion, and I don't know anybody that doesn't, but if you don't know where to put your passion, then I think you're missing out a little bit. I think it's healthy and it's good to have passion, to enjoy life, and to focus on things that bring joy into your life, like Papa's lemon pasta. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.